Hey folks, this is Justin from the Leonidas Knives and Gear channel, and I'm going to start this video with mentioning my Instagram page. So if you're not familiar with it, if you don't mind uh, going to check that out, uh, I've got all sorts of fun information of knives and gear and firearms. It's just the same titled uh, page, Leonidas Knives and Gear on Instagram. And I just tend to get a lot more content up there a lot faster than I can on YouTube. And which leads me into this video, which is about the Topps Knives Mini Tom Brown Tracker number four. And I've been posting information and pictures about this knife uh, over the past year. And I've been uh, carrying around my neck as well. And I've had some folks interested in how I've set that up. So I just wanted just to do a quick video for uh, the people out there who are interested in that. Because um, I also really, really enjoy this knife. It's a fantastic little fixed blade knife. And the tracker is a really famous design now. Uh, I do not have the larger model. But I found that this little mini one uh, just is just perfect for me with neck carry. And I've just really enjoyed uh, carrying it and using it. Uh, when I use it a lot, it's mostly mostly outdoors, but I do everyday carry this, you know, in urban and outdoor environments. But I tend to use it um, a lot of like around my home, working in the yard, uh, carry it out hiking, uh, camping, things like that. Just a great little so all around. The factory sheath that knife. this mini tracker comes with is actually overall a really good sheath. The Kydex is form fitted well to the knife. Like most factory tops knife sheaths, it works really well for the knife. And it is uh, folded over taco style. So those uh, grommets are only on one side. Now there is a drawback to that, is you have less attachment points, or you don't have any on the spine. So what that means is you just don't have as many attachment points for you know other things like, um, like say, running paracord. And so you run into a problem if you want to use this as a neck knife. And so what I did is I got a piece of, uh, it's a one and a half inch wide multi-cam mil-spec webbing. And I folded it over a couple times and kind of made it to where it turned into loops. And then I just, or uh, shall I say channels, and then I stitched it several times and made some channels. And then I ran two zip ties through those channels, attached it through the... Uh, the grommet holes there secured that uh, tightly worked out very well and then i have a paracord loop on either end so i could run this neck knife handle up which which i don't i don't that's not really my thing with neck knives and then i i run this one handle down and it, the kydex seems secure enough where i, I don't have any problems this, with that uh, knife in the sheath the way it hangs so i'm um, just i think it's a pretty good setup i mean i may have to swap out the nylon here because it's getting getting a little rough with the the amount of sweat um you know it, with being in contact of my body since i wear this underneath my clothing quite a bit so that's really the only drawback i found but the zip ties work rather well i also want to point out that this little skull bead just looks so good with this uh this knife setup this is a schmuckatelli this is the one-eyed jack i think it is the antique copper and man, does that really make a wicked setup. And this is just one of my absolute favorite knives to carry. Like I said, I carry it several times a week. And it works out really well for me. Alright folks, so if you enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you could, drop me a comment. I'd love to read it and respond to that. And also, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. So you can see more content in the future. Thank you for your time.